Give me mouse. Give me mouse. Eh. Heather's seven-year-old cat, Squishy, is like most well-loved cats, happy, playful, and fun. Oh, the mouse is winning. The mouse is winning. Oh, no, what are you going to do? So he started scratching at his ear a lot, and we didn't understand why. Jamie is a Squishy lover, too. He also noticed the discomfort that he was going through. He started having an ear infection about a year and a half ago. It didn't seem like all that bad until he started scratching his ear. And, and it started sounding like he had liquid in his ear. And he looked really uncomfortable, so we took him to the vet. I do the biopsy and I get the message, it's adenocarcinoma. carcinoma. It was $1,200 for an exploratory procedure. Add vet visits, more medications, and the cancer surgery estimate is nearly $6,000. They need help and want to save Squishy. The magic bullet fund was suggested. Within a week of an application, they heard back from the fund that Squishy was on their site. The money help means Squishy has a chance. I have anxiety, so the stre the massive stress relief of that whole situation and everything they have helped with, it has been, it's been phenomenal. To have a pet who has cancer and there is treatment that might be able to save him or give him a few more years, but you can't afford it. Uh, what do you do? In New York City, Lori Kaplan founded the Magic Bullet Fund years ago to help pets just like Squishy. Her dog, Bullet, had lymphoma. So, so he beat cancer. The lymphoma survival rate is only 5%. After chemo and other treatments, Bullet lived for four and a half years longer. An extra year with your dog or cat is a very long time. This is our kitty cat, Squishy. He is... The sweetest boy. Today, the Magic Bullet Fund is a national program with 30 volunteers all around the country. Over the years, they've been able to help over 800 dogs and cats. The Magic Bullet Fund pays for half the bill, and the rest is raised by those who see the site and want to help. He has cancer in his ear, and it's going to cause a bunch of infections um, until it gets taken care of. Raising funding for cancer treatment is often a moving target. Jamie had an emergency appendectomy. There's two incisions here and here, and having two surgeries back to back is not, you know, not what anybody hopes for. The site reposted Squishy's case to get the money needed. It is worth it, yes. Heather and Jamie hope for the best future together with Squishy. I hope he has a quick recovery from the surgery. I want him to live so long. He deserves that. Many, many happy years. To happy years, Squishy. I'm Stephen Redland, KGW News. Oh, wait, can he fit? Oh, he can fit through window.